It's time for Wine 101. It is perhaps the most well-known red wine in the world, and today the world celebrates it. We're talking about Cabernet Sauvignon, described as a fine, deep berry flavored wine. Joining us today with more on what makes Cabernet Sauvignon so special is Jorge Gomez of Humble Bistro. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having okay, me. Okay, so tell us about that particular wine. Okay, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, Sauvignon means savage. Ah. So starting right there, you know it's going to be full body. Uh -huh. It's going to be really oaky. It's going to have like fruit, but current, plum. But it all depends about your palate. It all okay. depends about the wine. Today we have a Cabernet blend. A blend. Okay. A blend. So it's going to have a little Sinfandé, a little Merlot. So that's going to make it richness mm -hmm. and sometimes easier to drink. Okay. So okay. kind of if you're new to the wine world, maybe exactly. start off with this type of wine. Yeah. So, you know, it all depends about your palate also. Okay. Um, it's going to sometimes the tannins that is the skin and the grape is going to be really strong. Mm -hmm. On this one, it's going to be a lot more softer. I'm a oh. more velvety, almost like flurry. Like. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yes. And I love that it means savage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm drinking this from now on. Yes. Okay, so we want to talk about what wine pairs with food. So can you talk about that? Okay, so um, we are going to talk first about our brunch. Okay. Uh, Combo Bistro, we do a Bloody Mary with a Cabernet float. Oh, in that there. Is just, yeah, that kind of balance all the acidity and super easy to drink. Okay. But also, right now, we're doing a Pinot Noir with this. A Pinot Noir is a lot, a lot lighter a lot of softer, a lot of delicate, so it goes really, really well with eggs and potatoes. And we, over yeah. here we have carnitas on it, okay. and it's fantastic. For the, par, for the Cabernet blend that we have today, we have okay. the stag, that is a Cabernet blend from Paso Robles, great region to great. Okay. And also we're gonna do a wild mushroom parpadele with short rib, lemon zest, a little chili flakes, a little cream. It's gonna be fantastic for okay. that one. Okay, sounds good. And for dessert, we yeah, are- Yeah, we can you gotta have dessert. Yes. Yeah. But also we do a different, we do a tiramisu, but it's a tres leches tiramisu. Okay. So it's like rich, and it's also going to go great with the Merlot that it has, it's almost confused with the Cabernet, but it's a lot velvety, a lot softer to drink. Too. Okay, so how do you come up with the correct wines or the right wines to pair with each of these items? Well, it's never always a correct way to do it. Okay. Like I will say to people, wines are like music. Mm -hmm. You listen to different types of music. Right. You kind of like it. Yeah. You have to experience. You have to experiment. You have to actually break yourself from only the one that you think is right. Uh, okay. Just try it. Okay. You just got to try, try it. it. You exactly. got to get out there That's and exactly explore. exactly what you want to do. <laughs> so a question for you. What is the difference between red wines like Pinot Noir and Cabernet? So that's what we're saying. Like mm -hmm. the, the Pinot Noir grape, a little bit darker in color. The skin is really, really thin and soft. So the tannins, and it's going to be lighter body. It's going to okay. be easier to drink. Okay. As the Cabernet is going to be a lot more punch in your face kind of flavor, a lot of body, <laughs> a lot of flavor itself, but also oaky. And it's going to go really well, mostly with meats, with mushrooms, with earthy tones, with, you know, like a lot of tomato sauces will go right with that. Oh my gosh, you know it all. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the expert here. So what do you recommend for those learning about red wines? Well, I will say get out of your norm. Mm -hmm, like you don't get out of your Yeah, exactly. Though. Don't think that just because that wine supposed to taste like that, that means that you're gonna feel it like that. Okay. You might like Merlot, you might like a Cabernet, you don't even know. Why? Because I only drink Pinot Noir. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So experience, get yourself out of the comfort zone. Okay, so people can get all of these wines there at Humble, Humble Bistro. Okay, where yes. are you guys located? So we have two locations right now. We just opened our new location in, Bal in Williamsville and Balbista and Gilbert. But also we have our original location that is in High Street behind uh, Desert Ridge Mall. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining thank us today so and sharing all of that great information. To learn more, visit HumbleBistro.com or call the number there on your screen. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.